training going for you? It's going great. It's going great. Um, love Coach Fisher. He's uh, bringing a whole new intensity here, a whole new mindset. Um, you know, obviously, Ted P is his type of thing, toughness, effort, discipline, pride. And he's really trying to instill that in this program. And, um, you know, we're responding well to it. You've been waiting for this moment for a while? Or? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's the right term. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's good. I don't mind it. From a, from a learning standpoint, what have been some of the biggest things you had to either adjust to or, or pick up on when it comes to learning Jimbo's offense? Uh, yeah, this is like a total post-style offense. Um, it's completely different than what we were running. You know, we would have two-word plays, and everyone knew what to do in our old offense, and now it's, you know, it's, it's a long, it's a paragraph <laughs> when you're saying a play, and then it's check, and then it's another paragraph. And so, um, really, terminology, I mean, we run a lot of the same things. Concepts necessarily don't change, but what you call them, uh, getting everybody on the same page, stuff like that, that's probably been the, the hardest in terms of that. How do you feel like your particular skills? Been for, for the other guys too, not only just you, but for you in terms of getting everybody else on the same page with all those check um, It's, I mean, it's a process where they put all the pressure, all the, all the trust in the quarterbacks. And so, you know, me, Kellen, Blumwerick, Bo, all those guys, we have to know what everyone's doing and if, if you know, they don't know what to do, we have to get them lined up. That's on us. Uh, just, you know, being a quarterback is what Coach Jimbo, or Coach Fisher says. It's just, you gotta be a quarterback, you gotta get everyone in the right position uh, to do all that. How much do you feel like you benefited from a redshirt year and, and just, I guess, sum up your first year of, of playing? Um, yeah, redshirting was, the, I mean, the best thing. Uh, coming in here, obviously with Coach Sumlin, who, um, you know, I was, I was really excited to play for them. Coach Sumlin, they decided to redshirt me. Um, we, I thought I was gonna pull that red shirt, Ole Miss game, I, you know, that red shirt year. Didn't, and I'm thankful for it. It gave me time in the weight room, it gave me time in the playbook. So that spring when I came out to start competing for the job, it was, uh, you know, it was a lot better of a transition because I was an early enrollee. So I came over the summer, I was not ready to play. I'll be the first to tell you, I wasn't ready to play. Um, and then halfway through the season, I felt like I might've been ready, but that red shirt year just, just helped me develop mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. How long do you think it's going to take you to feel comfortable with that offense, making those paragraphs, making those paragraph changes? Um, I feel comfortable with it right now. We started it. We did an install, real heavy install. You know, day one was 30 plays. Day two, you know, 30 plays. Day three, and then we kind of now right right now we're working more situational football rather than putting in more plays. So now it's the same plays, different formations. So we're, we're really starting to get it down right now. But I think by the end of the spring, we'll have it. And then summer, we'll just be polishing it on our own when we do our own seven on seven, just players, stuff like that. I think we'll, we'll all have it done. Have they given you any indication that, that you won't be the starter come the fall? Uh, no, right now, it's just a competition. Um, you know, that's what, that's what we came here for. We came here to compete. Me and Kellen love to compete. Uh, it's only going to make us better. So, you know, we're cool with not knowing. What's what it been your... like working with Jim? I know some, I think some have said that he's particularly, you know, particular about his quarterbacks or, or when he's hard on them at times. What's it been like building a relationship with him? Uh, it's been awesome. I mean, he's up there. Him and Coach Dickey are, you know, running our meetings. It's, it's not your typical head coach where your head coach isn't really in position meetings. I mean, he's up there running our position meetings. Uh, he's running the, the clicker, you know, fast forward and rewind and everything, pointing this out, pointing this out. And it's, uh, it's, it's a lot different, but it makes it so much more personal. Uh, it makes you really want to play for him. It makes you really want to, you know, compete for him. You know, uh, that's what I really like about him. How much has he already taught you about football? A lot, a lot, honestly. Um, I mean, every day it's something new. Uh, every day it's, it's, it's one nugget that I'm getting from him that, you know, I didn't even know. And um, so, so it's been huge. Have you gone back to look at any of the other quarterbacks that he's – coach like Jameis some of those guys to kind of get an idea of, of his coaching style and what he's done and, and does he use any of the stories of those guys to oh yeah oh yeah um I mean just today we're in the film room watching film and coach Fisher's the type of guy where we're talking about one play and he'll be like oh yeah we ran that LSU offense 2003 third quarter against Tennessee going from light uh, left to right on the film and he, sure enough we pulled up and it's right there and so we've been watching the LSU offense, which Marcus Russell has been watching Jameis do it, and we've been watching uh, DeAndre Francois do it. And so we're really, he's showing us everything. He does not forget anything, that's for sure. So we've been watching all those guys, how they do it, and just incorporating that with what we do. What is do you your think your skill set is uh, better suited for this offense as opposed to the previous one? Or is it 
same or what? Um, I, you know, I do. I do just in terms of a, a mobility standpoint. I'm not going to tell everyone I'm the most mobile person, so maybe the zone read isn't the best for me. But I know that if I have to do that, I can do that. And uh, you know, I'm perfectly capable of doing it. I'm confident in doing it. And I was confident in the last offense we had, and I'm sure I'm going to be confident in this offense. What is your relationship with Kellen? Um, me and Kellen are friends. Uh, we're competitors. We're teammates. Uh, you know, that's the first thing. We're teammates. Um, you know, I have his back. He has my back. No matter what. You know, if he's ever in trouble, he needs to call me. I'll we'll pick him up. If I'm ever in trouble, I need to call him. He'll come pick me up. That's just the type of guys that we are. Um, you know, some people say I'm more of a, you know, a talker, and he's more of, a, a, like a doer in terms of like leadership style. Like he's kind of quiet. I'm, I, I like to talk a lot, and um, I think we just we just mesh well, and that's how it worked. You know, this last season as well. Getting yeah, used to under center snaps has that been a challenge at all? Uh, no, that hasn't been a challenge for me. Um, did it in high school. We practiced it last year, and uh, it's just I mean it's just natural for me. Did you get to meet Bieber? I did not get to meet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> By the way, we, that's always a good last. <laughs> we, we, we consider talking a good thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> it is you know I, I wish it could have happened, but but it didn't. But thank you.